let's learn how to solve absolute value inequalities. Hey, the good news is it's just like solving regular inequalities if you're doing it on the calculator. If you're doing it by hand, you have to learn a new technique a little bit. But, um, but by calculator, everything's the same. So let's do it. But of course, first we need um, an absolute value inequality statement. And here is an absolute value inequality statement. OK, so um, we start off, uh, well, we, we're going to do it the same way we did the other inequality. So we'll go to y equals, and we'll type in the left side. So math right 1, and that'll give us 2x minus 7. And then the right side of the inequality is 4. Now y3, because it's an inequality, we will write the entire statement. So math, write one. And then the inequality sign, that lives in second math. And it's option five. And we have that. OK. So if we go to zoom six, uh, there it all is. OK, so we're looking for where the absolute value, uh, the, the sharp pointed absolute value in blue is below the horizontal line at height four. Well, it's below the horizontal line right here from uh, from here to here. OK, from that intersection point to that one. So I'll go second trace five and three enters and the left uh, the left side of our solution set is one and a half. Okay. And what about the right side of our solution set? Well, that'll correspond to this intersection point. So second trace five, move the cursor over, bring it around the horn and hit the three enters. And we get five and a half. So here is the solution in inequality notation. I know it's inequality notation because it includes uh, inequality signs, the less than signs. Uh, if I want to do it in um, interval notation, it's going to be like that. Okay. Oh, so that's supposed to be a comma in the middle. Darn it. There, now it's a comma. OK, and that would be how you would do it. Um, all right, now, what if, um, what if it was or equal? How would that change things? Well, then I'd have or equal there, and, and these guys would be sh uh, brackets instead of parentheses. OK, that would be the only difference. What if it wasn't less than? What if it was greater than? So now we're looking for where the blue absolute value V is above the horizontal line in red. Well, the blue V is above you know, here and here. So, well, let's see what happens. So first I gotta change this back. Okay, so if I go to Y equals, all I would have to do is change this to a greater than. So second math, uh, option three. And now the answer is the exact opposite. Instead of being the stuff in the middle, it's the stuff on the outside. So everything less than 1.5 and everything greater than 5.5. So it's the, it's, the solution set is everything that was not, uh, that, 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 that was outside of this one over here, the exact opposite. So that would uh, be how you do that. And that's kind of that relationship. Anyway, that's, uh, that's how it's done.